Hi, this is Lara at Elliott Wave Stock Market with your weekly analysis for gold done on Wednesday, 8th of May. I'm recording this video now, 20 past 10 nearly in the evening New York time on Wednesday the 8th New York time. My daily chart is a little bit different. I was expecting downwards movement for the week for gold. We got a little bit of downwards movement towards the end of the week, but not before price breached my invalidation point on the hourly chart. At the daily chart level, that wave count was still valid, but it has a really strange look. My last analysis had all this upwards movement as Minuet Wave 4 within Minute Wave 3, but that looks quite out of proportion now to Minuet Wave 2. This upwards movement for a fourth wave correction looks better in proportion to Minuet, sorry, Minute Wave 2. So I've changed the wave count a bit, and once I see this fifth wave here is slightly truncated to end minute 3, that resolves the problem I had of trying to find a 5 wave impulse for an A wave up here. My last analysis was looking at a rare triple zigzag. It's not a triple zigzag. This upwards movement for minute wave A, if it starts here, subdivides reasonably well into a 5 wave impulse. So I think that the upwards movement that slightly invalidated my hourly wave count was a C wave of a zigzag for a fourth wave correction one degree higher at minute degree. So when we use Elliott's channeling technique, his second technique now to draw a channel around this from two to four with a copy on the low of, well on the price extreme of three, it reasonably shows us where price remains contained some overshoots here. I'd expect the fifth wave to maybe end midway in this channel, or if it gets down there, to find support at the lower edge. We can use Elliott's technique for a correction to draw a trend channel around the zigzag for minute 4, draw it first from this low here, from the start of minute 4, to the end of the B wave within it, place a parallel copy on the high of the A wave. It beautifully shows us where price is finding support and resistance, and in the last three days, price has broken through the lower edge of that channel. Copy that channel over to the hourly chart. If my hourly wave count is invalidated with upwards movement over the next week for gold, then I expect we may be seeing, and it is possible, that my new wave 4 could continue further sideways or higher as a double zigzag or maybe a double combination. If it does that, it can't move into minute wave 1 price territory above 1555.16. Let's have a look at the hourly chart where the end of minute A and the end of minute B within minute 4. A is just off to the left of the chart, here's B and here's the end of the fourth wave zigzag. This is the lower end of that parallel channel which I just explained on the daily chart. Create another parallel copy and place it on this low here, and that is showing us beautifully where price is finding support over the last 24 hours or so. We may see a little bit of support as price moves down to start a third wave before it finally breaches that channel. If this is where the zigzag ended, then this is where a fifth wave has begun. We have a nice strong impulse for a first wave, a deep zigzag for a second wave correction, another 5 wave impulse for another first wave and a very deep zigzag for a second wave correction. There's some nice Fibonacci ratios in this wave count. I shan't go over those in the video, it would just make it too long. It's all detailed in my text analysis on the website. If this is where a third wave has begun, we should see some increase in momentum and at 1416, subminuet wave 3 would reach 1.618, the length of subminuet wave 1, and that target may be met towards the middle of next week or earlier. If we see any further upwards movement, it is possible that the second wave could move higher, but it looks quite unlikely. If it does, it can't move above 1479.05. That invalidation point is really close by. If it's breached, it means that this fourth wave is not over and is probably moving further sideways or higher as a double combination or double zigzag. At this stage though, I think that's somewhat unlikely. So my last week's analysis expected downwards movement for gold. We got just a little bit, a lot of sideways movement mostly for the week with a slightly higher thrust which breached my hourly chart invalidation point. 
I've moved the degree of labelling for this big correction up one degree and the wave count now has a much more satisfactory look. There's beautiful alternation between the second and fourth waves. I expect we've just seen a fifth wave downwards start. We should see downwards movement overall for the week. That's all for me today with gold analysis and I hope that everybody had an awesome week.